Okay, so today I'm tired of y'all just seeing me sit and stuff, and I thought I'd just bring you out. There's Miss Buttercup. Um, one of the first projects that we are working on is right there are two posts that match that kind of post over there. This is temporary. Um, we're going to take it down. As a matter of fact, tomorrow this will be going in to post. And then instead of finding wire, I just used a hog panel. It was cheaper than buying a whole roll of wire, and I didn't have enough to do it. So, and it's the same height and everything. So, and it'll help keep Miss Piggy in. Um, so we're going to put that up. This is my gate, and we will have it so that we can walk through here, get rid of this mucky mess, and the gate is going to be over here. Where she's deciding to itch. Hey, Miss Thang. So anyway, um, this will all be cleaned up. The wood it stays for the winter. Um, this right here is uh, getting cleaned up. All the big limbs are down. We just have to get the big limbs. All the smaller limbs are down. We just have to get the big trunk cleaned up. So um, yeah, who's coming on? Yeah, there's BC. Come on, big girl. All right, we're gonna open this up. She didn't want to walk across the thing. They'll all come out, huh? Come on, guys. See, and this is packed down. It's just right here that's the mud. Oh, and BC's got scours. Okay. So, here's the babies. Yes, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Hey, Rosie Red. And there's Gordy. See, he it takes him a little bit to get his foot going there. All right, come on. Yes. And there's Beastie. See, she doesn't she doesn't want to walk through the mud. She's like, I want the quiet. She wants the dry. Okay, Silly the other thing, thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna cut off from this white post down there to that T post. And this is going to be four horse runs and uh, it will have 16 foot runs off of it and then it'll have a little turnout right here. Um, it'll have a gate in it and behind this from here to here, when this is not a horse run, it will be a working um, sheep chute. We have left a pathway down through here so that we can run them across there, right down into here, right across here. This will be a solid wall in the fence and they'll walk right down through here. We can work them with no problems. And it'll be easier to, to um, change it up and get the goats out here because they don't expect us to catch them out here. So it'll get better. Um, these two gates are going to go over there another We don't know if we have enough to do that. So that's not looking good for this year, but we'll see um, All of This fencing stuff and that fencing stuff Will be moved into the equipment pin and out of the way um, So that we can use this horse stock um, This will be our working horse area Ooh, got gnats in it Whew. so we work to get this actually functioning I guess I need to open it up and let sheep in there Ooh, lots of grass in there lots of grass um, there we go anyway so this will be cleaned out and this is going to be the horse area each one of these will have a 16 foot run those orange panels will come straight off of them and then, of course, there'll be an actual turnout out here of a little pasture. So, that's a good thing. And we're actually going to start working on this here in just, oh, I don't know, two, three days, four days. Um, whenever I get my truck back is when I go to get the other stuff. So, um, I see the cows down there. It looks like they're all doing good. This morning we had two out. And then here's all the horsies. Hey guys. Yeah, what are we doing, huh? 
Yeah, and there's Mr. Donkey Donk. There's the big donkey. We just been calling him Donkey Kong. Um, he's been severely mistreated, so he doesn't trust people. But that's okay. He stays out with the horsies. So anyway, um, the last thing that we're gonna do is we put in that corner post um, to the pasture, and we're going to refence that pasture. We're hoping to be able to get up at least two good strands across there so that everything will stay in. So um, it is what it is. We're working on it. So there's that fencing to do. This fencing that will start tomorrow. Um, and then, of course, we've got some work to do on this. And then we've got the... Eventually, we're going to fence across there, too. But... That'll take time, and then across there. Um, I'm gonna try and get one roll of wire and see if we can't get it at least divided there. Get the horse one done. We need the horse one because we have three horse stalls, two inside stalls, and we've got seven or eight horses. We're only set up to take, the goal was to take three. But then when we got to five, we built the two indoor ones. And yeah, so that gave us five. But now we're up to seven horses, I believe, eight horses. I think the most we've had is eight, but still, it's just one of those things where we definitely want to uh, get things lined out for what we need. Alrighty, so I've got two cows that have decided they're going to get out. Hop, hop. And I've decided I'm going to run them all into the arena. So I don't have to do this anymore today. Um, but nothing like herding 12 head on foot. This is why I need to lose weight and get back to uh, horseback. Just saying. Um, we're headed for the corner over there. Bidet is actually leading. She's pretty good at doing what she's told. And so, um, if I can get the ones in that are getting out, which is these two right here that don't have moms and aren't, that are bigger, they bully. Um, as long as they go in, I'm good. So, the rest of them will be fine. But, as you can tell, Bidet knows where she's going. And the rest of them will follow her. Longhorn's up there. Zebu's up there. It's just a long freaking trek because they were all the way back over there. It's a half mile. So, yep. Been a long walk, but I got exercise, right? I'm gonna get off here and make some noise and hopefully get them in that pen. So, bye. Okay, so they're all successfully in the arena. And as you can tell, our little escapee is over there checking to see that I shut the other gate. Yeah, <laughs> little tricky sucker. He thinks he's going to get out, or she thinks she's going to get back out by going through there. And she's not, just saying. I done cut it off, put her up, and she's not happy, but she is looking for a way out. But the thing is, is they won't be out tonight on the, on the road. We all know how important that is to me. And tomorrow, we have fence fixing to do. And we're going to town to get another roll barbed wire. We're, we're putting up a whole new strand of barbed wire. We're putting in T-posts. Uh, most of the T-posts from the front side to the thing are done. I just got to get new wire up there. So we're also going to go and pick up two more spools. So that I'll have two good wires along with all the other wires fixed up. So there they are. It's been a party till the cow comes home. Um... I'm going to go back in the house and catch my breath, get me a drink. i got to take some ibuprofen because herding cattle makes your blood pressure go up when you're by yourself and on foot. But like I said before, it's just one more reason. And look here, cow tracks. Like she wasn't going straight for that gate. Dork. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. And the birds, we've disturbed the birds. And they're all playing and whatnot but now they're locked in the arena at least and they're not going to go anywhere so they're not going to get on a highway on the street whatever so i'm good with that so all right i am off of here and i will talk at y'all later